Hey, what's up everyone? Dimitri of Kata Gaming here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your merch store on Stream Elements, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you one little secret about the Stream Elements merch store that you could utilize for yourself. So once you go to Stream Elements, you go ahead and you go down to the SE Merch portion of the tab. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll get brought to your merch store. If you don't have any items, that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start to make some. So I have a few here that I've made uh, just as little uh, examples and ones that people could buy if they really wanted to. Um, I don't really mention my merch much on stream, um, but I do have a few here. Um, and one that people have asked for, funny one. Um, but it's really simple to make new ones. And since they brought out the merch store, they've added a lot more products. So before it was just I think the t-shirt, the hoodie, the mouse pad, the sticker, and a mug. Now they've got extra large mouse pads, they've got tank tops, they got phone cases, they got a whole bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and create a new item. And you can see all of the options that you have here. So let's say we're gonna make a mouse pad. So you get a few color options here and you can only pick five colors per item and there's only five colors available for the mouse pad. So that's not too bad. Um, if you choose something like a t-shirt or a hoodie, however, you, there's a lot more colors available to you. So you're gonna have to choose five that you like. If you wanna offer more than five colors, you just make the design twice. Um, one of the designs has one set of colors, the other design has another set of colors. Um, I would suggest, you know, doing one with pastels and kind of doing maybe a different color scheme on it with the design itself. Um, but I, you know, you can do however you like, and I don't, I don't really have multiples out there, so kind of choose whatever ones you like and choose different designs and kind of change it up a little bit. So now what would you put on your merch? So if you've gone to Fiverr and you've gotten someone to make a logo for you, for example, that's a great place to start, which is what I did. If you've got a few phrases that people like refer to when on your stream, uh, things that you say a lot or things that people talk a lot about. Uh, if you have an emote that people really like, um, these are all options for things that you can put on your merch. You can also go to Fiverr and actually get someone to specifically design merch items for you as well. Um, I'll leave links in the video description below for some search terms and uh, a referral link for Fiverr if you guys would like. Um, but that is a good a good place to go. You can also just create your own word ones using free Photoshop options like Pixlr or um, Paint.net and stuff like that. You can create your own designs. They don't have to be the most complicated designs, but if you think people will like them, uh, then go ahead and put them on something. Another quick tip is to ask your audience what kind of things they would like. Um, most of the items that I've made, I've like asked people if they if they would want to get something like that, uh, and they've mentioned that they have. I have one audience member actually designing a specific sweater um, that they really want to get. That you know, it reminds them of the stream, but they're kind of designing their own kind of idea around it. So I'm allowing them to do that, which I think will be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, ask your audience because in the end, they're the ones who are going to buy. So you want to make things that they're going to use. But let's quickly get to the design here. So you can create a name. You can set your price and it tells you what the profit is for each of them. Um, you can choose your colors and then you can choose your artwork. So let's go ahead and upload a design here. And what picture are we going to choose? Let's go ahead and choose this one. It has a very large image. And as you can see, it kind of cuts off on the ends here. So let's see if we can change that around. My, uh, my image is too big and I don't think it's gonna let me use it. Because it would be nice if we could do something like that. But it won't let me save. So it's gonna make me replace the design. So let's choose something smaller within their uh, their sizes here. Let's do the, the T. That's a little too small because now once we stretch it, it's gonna tell me that the print quality is poor. So let's just go ahead and choose something that I know works. 
and we're gonna choose my logo. All right. A quick note, if uh, you're gonna be creating your own kind of design or anything that you wanna put on one of your merch items, without having a background, you're gonna have to make sure that it has a transparent background like this in Photoshop. And you wanna make sure that you save it as a PNG file or else it won't have the transparency um, attribute to it. And then when you put it on an item, it's gonna have some kind of square and a colored background, usually black. So make sure that you have a transparent background and that you save it as a PNG. Back to the video. So in the designer, you can move the image around. Um, you can only have one image per design. So make sure that you either, if you wanna have it tiled, you're gonna have to tile it yourself. Um, there's a kind of print areas here that'll kind of show you uh, like kind of some areas here. Um, things like the shirts you can print on the back. I don't think you can do it yet, but they're planning for it in the future. Um, but you can move it around. You can scale it up a little bit and make it a little larger. See, now it's telling me that like the print quality is going to be average because I stretched it. Um, if you do get a logo design, make sure that you pay for the tier that has the SVG or the scaled vector graphics file. Um, this will be really useful when you go to make merch because you can scale those images to be as large or as small as you want without losing any of the quality. Very helpful in things like this where you want to stretch a picture out but you don't want it to lose those sharp edges. Um, but we're just going to go and put it back to a smaller size until it says good. There we go. Put that right in the middle. We're going to preview it. It'll get rid of all the lines. And that's what the mouse pad will look like. So yeah, as I mentioned, the back printing is coming soon and I do plan on using that. Um, what I plan on using it for is having a kind of design on the front and then the name kind of on the back in a small, small font. Um, but Streamlines has been really good about introducing new products all the time and they even do things that are seasonal. So let's quickly go over those. So as of today, November 18th, uh, 2020, you can go ahead and go to the engagement tab and you can create these seasonal promotions. Um, and what these are, are a bundle pack of a sweater and a mug, and there are five different designs. So you have this quick, simple design, you have this one, and you the only thing that you get to change here is the words on it. So say we want this to say, 2020 was a blast, right? And you can put that on there. So you can put whatever you want on this uh, this hoodie in these words, and it'll bundle these together, and it sells for 37.40 starting at, and you earn three dollars for every bundle sold. You can create a chat bot. You can have certain panels, uh, an alert for it. You can let it snow. And that's all of a seasonal promotion right now. With an engagement, you also get a few other tools where you can order your own merch bundle, um, the standard products. You can also set up your merch panel. So I actually have one of these on my channel. So as you can see here, I have the little merch panel there. Um, you can create an alert, which I do have. Um, you can create a rotating widget um if you want to have something that's like constantly on the stream i don't like having those but if you want to have one you're more than welcome to and you can have a little chatbot command and a timer um, that'll just remind people that you do have a merch store and that they should go check it out and now for the little secret if you wanted your own custom mouse pad with your logo on it that you got off of fiverr you can go ahead and order it yourself through your stream element store put the profit down to zero and you're paying a pretty good price for a custom house pad that prints at a really high quality. So all you do is you go in to whichever item you want to buy. You ch go down to the lowest amount, right? So that's giving me a dollar fifty in profit. And we're going to lower this down even more. We're going to lower it down a dollar fifty. So we're going to go to twenty to fifty. So it's zero in profit. And now if we save this and we order it, we're going to be paying. $20.50 plus the shipping, which depends on where you are in the world, um, for a custom mouse pad with a very high quality design and a high quality print um, 
for a pretty good price. You can do this with any of the items, whether it's a sweater, a tank top, mouse pad, a mug, um, and it's a really great way for you to order your own things. And if you're gonna be ordering your little merch bundle and if you wear this kind of stuff on stream, you're more likely to kind of advertise it to people and show what it looks like. And maybe your audience members will really like how it looks and they'll buy one for themselves. Now for me personally, I don't have the merch store there for me to make money. Um, the items that I've really made are items that I think people would just enjoy using on their own. Um, and I'm hoping to maybe in the future create some more cool designs and get more uh, designs that people would really like to wear on their own. Not particularly just because it's related to me, but because it's just something fun or it just looks nice. Um, but the merch store is a really great way to help build your community. And if you create some fun merch and people really end up liking it and they start wearing it, um, it helps them really build up that idea of, an, of a community. And um, you can create some really cool community inside jokes uh, with your merch. You can, you know, again, use certain emotes. Um, and if you have an emote that you've created that you really, really like, um, you can do like a really simple design where it's just like a little um, image of the emote on, on a big hoodie, for example. Um, they don't have to be big extravagant designs, they could be nice and simple. And as long as you think that you would wear it, then somebody else probably will too. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up, liking this video, maybe hitting that subscribe button. Um, if you want to be notified of future videos like this, hit that bell icon. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or go ahead and join our Discord. We can have a little bit more of a conversation. Uh, you can share some funny memes. Talk to us about video games, about tech, about you know battle stations and builds all kinds of stuff in there love to see you in there and as always i stream on twitch from friday until tuesday come check me out come say hello in the chat if you have any questions i can try to answer them right there live on stream um i try to keep an eye on chat as much as i can and um yeah thanks again for watching stay safe out there and i'll see you next friday